The Sindin light gun. I've been getting tons of comments ever since I started doing aim track light gun videos about this particular gun. And I have to say, today I saw that Linus Tech Tips got a hold of one of these and did a video on it. And it got me really excited. The cool thing is, before that video actually got published, a few days ago, I actually got a response back from Andy, the designer of this particular light gun. And I'm now on the list of people to hopefully get a review unit to check out myself. And so since that conversation, I've been really digging in and checking everything out, and I want to share with you my initial thoughts of the Sindin light gun. Uh, first of all, it's amazing. I think it's gonna be the next evolution in light gun gaming. You no longer will have a sensor bar. For those of you that uh, have been playing with light guns, the problem with light guns and Wii remotes and air mouses and things like that is they have to correspond with the IR sensor and it you know that's why you know I do typically leave my cursor on my games when I'm playing a game I usually leave the cursor on so I see where the mouse is and it's easily done this new gun has a video camera built into it and so it has these little borders you see here on duck Hunt, he has a white border there if you start looking at all these videos you notice every video where they play a game there's a big white border around the gameplay and that's because this gun knows where the camera needs to look and it will go ahead and actually perceive where you're shooting and do it quite accurately. So while you're not in a game, it will operate just like a mouse. Like this, he's probably using his gun right now to move this clicker around. If you look at his TV, his TV screen, he's probably using his gun to, to open apps and things like that. Because yes, it does. Oh, there you go. See, it does act like an air mouse in that regard. But it's not actually corresponding to an IR sensor, back to these little sensors that go on the top of your TVs. It is, there's a camera built in inside. And uh, I really like this video because it shows you the software. I was really excited to get into the software. And for example, TVs are often curved. The old school CRT TVs are curved. They're not straight, like when you see a bezel. And so this is doing so many mathematical inputs at the same time to figure out exactly where you're aiming, giving the curvature of the original game and then your actual TV as well. And then you can see here there's a way to change your borders um, within the um, within the actual software as well. There's a little column here. See how it says uh, test, alignment, cursor offset, border. And then you can configure all your controls and everything like that. They even have a raw camera that they used in the video where you can actually see them using the raw video because it's a camera. Instead of a little IR sensor, it's a camera looking for um, you know, what, it, what it wants to, uh, to trigger. And in those light gun games, the screen often turned white. And that's what they explained in the beginning of this video, by the way, if you've never seen it before. They actually quoted the way games work, NES Zapper. Great video, by the way. I watched that a long time ago about how the NES actually works and um you know with scan lines and pixels and things and so this is why this new light gun works the other thing i want to point out about this video is they're using launch box it's hilarious if you go over here they're using launch box it's totally launch box they got all their roms on launch box okay and then they play virtual cop house of the dead these are all games that i've played on my channel here and i've i've shared videos on how to set up those emulators so when this gun does come out the way you set up the emulator is going to be similar almost identical because at the end of the day uh it's it's a windows based machine and you're basically telling the emulator that you're using a mouse so that will be very very similar um what i did like to see and i read in here as well is that uh, well one you get a d-pad on here which is really cool plus those auxiliary buttons the other thing i noticed is this doesn't show it here but in this video that he actually cocks the gun back. So it has like a like a like a, a cocking mechanism in it. I don't know if that's the prototype or what. When he gets it, he cocks it. He says it wasn't very satisfactory, but he he cocked it. Um that little this little part right here, you can cock it back and forth. Now, um it looks very promising. $100 is, is what they're going for US, which is really good price. Um, they might be coming out with a recoil version later. This is an aim track recoil, but that's the recoil right there. It's just like a little module with a little pin that hits the gun and it makes it shake. And then that will require probably a auxiliary power source similar to the, um, the aim track. But maybe 
Nowadays with newer devices, they can get the power from the USB. I'm not entirely sure how that will work. Um, so this has got me really excited about the future of um, light guns. Um, it, it does look though that the time of using utility is not gone. You will still, I'm sure for specific games, have to set them up. Another thing about this border, which is actually really cool, let's just watch another light gun game here, is see, so you see on his monitor, he has, he has a big border around it. That's also gonna help you reload because the gun knows where the edge of the screen is. That's why right now with aim track, you're not supposed to run bezels and things like that because it can often throw off the light gun. So that, that border helps in multiple ways. Now, um, the other thing I read, which I um, a lot of people aren't talking about, is that he supposedly it's going to work for Linux as well. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, you have to get this light gun utility to work in Linux. So he's going to have to pay someone or get somebody to write the code so you can go onto a terminal and download this utility and, and be able to run it on a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, once that can happen, then yes, you'll be able to play Duck Hunt and all your favorite games really well on a Raspberry Pi 4, which is pretty cool. That's something I'm also looking forward to. So um, that's the light gun. The other last thing is just his update. He made an update in this blog about, you know, that people are going to start getting their orders really quick here. He, that's what 5,000 plastic shells look like. Um, he's going to send the first 100 units, see how customs and things are going, and then get these out. Um, so he's going to they're going to start shipping in in you know in the coming weeks so i'm really excited about getting one once i get one i'm going to throw it on the emulator throw it on thing on you know my computer check it out and share with you my thoughts because i have a lot of experience now with the aim track light gun and the wii remote using the dolphin light bar and so i'll share those um share that with you once i once i learn more so that's it, send in light gun. You know, if you're into light guns, I would probably get it. It's it links seems very, very promising. And uh, you know, the more people that get behind it, I think the better, you know, the more updates we'll get, the better improvements we'll get, things like that. So uh, I'm really excited about that. And you can see it's on Techno Parrot. I wonder where the border is on Techno Parrot. So you've got the border on there as well. So House of the Dead. Um, and then I guess this was the Kickstarter. You can see all these have the border on it, right? Because that's where it's telling the gun where to go. Yep, cool. So nice, good good to see. I'm, I'm excited about it. Let me, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.